Fellow Spartans, how are you doing and welcome back to another video. So today we are taking a look at a mod which is currently in development for Total War Round 2 called the Age of Bronze which currently adds two new factions to the game in the form of the Egyptian New Kingdom and the Hittite Empire. In this release they have brought us the Kadesh preview. So for the moment this is a custom battle mod in which you can recreate the historical battle of Kadesh between the two factions. They both have their own unit roster, flag, a large number of unique custom models as well as unit cards. The number of men per unit has also had a significant increase as well. It is available on the workshop on Steam to try out for yourself so go and check it out if you want to but as I said they are still developing it with the plan to introduce more factions and a fully playable campaign set around the time period of when the battle was fought which is dated roughly to 1274 BC. So essentially this preview is a taster of what's to come. Now in terms of the historical battle itself, the Egyptians were led by Ramesses II and the armies of the Hittite Empire under Muwatali II and it is the earliest battle in recorded history for which details of tactics and formations are actually known. It was probably the largest chariot battle ever fought involving perhaps five to six thousand chariots. And the battle is also reenacted in the film Exodus uh, which came out last year so if you get a chance give it a watch. Now the mod itself doesn't unfortunately have a map marker for Kadesh in the custom battle but I set it as close as I possibly can to its actual geographical location which as you can see is just north of modern day Lebanon. Now for this video I'll be taking control of the Egyptian New Kingdom. So let's have a quick look at the units before going into the battle itself. So I'll try to select a build which shows a wide range of units that this mod offers. As you can see here I've got my general's unit, the Pharaoh's Foot Guard. I've got another unit of Pharaoh's Foot Guard. I've got two units of Nimbidian Pharaonic Guard. Now some of these uh, unit cars unfortunately aren't finished yet so they will be updated later on down the line so that's why it's showing you a Roman Hastata unit at the moment but it will be updated as I say at some point. I've got some Pharaoh's Chariots, some um, Sheridan Guardsmen yeah, and I've got some Light Chariots, I've got four of them, two units of Nabidian Bowmen, uh, I've got four units of Egyptian Shock Infantry, two units of Egyptian, no in fact I've got four units of Egyptian Shock Spearmen. So for the Hittites I've got them down with two units of Hittite Guardsmen, a unit of Heavy Axemen or two units of Heavy Axemen actually, a unit of Hittite Provincial Chariots, three units of Archers or Bowmen, two units of levy javelin men, two units of uh, Anatolian warriors, again this unit card hasn't been updated yet, but Babylonian uh, light spearmen, two units of provincial axemen, and I've got uh, Kizawatana medium infantry, three units of them, and then two units of light swordsmen, and I've given them all the three chevrons for unit experience, both in my army and the uh, Hittites as well. Now I'm going to be having this battle being played on hard difficulty so that's why I usually play these uh, kind of uh, engagements on. So without further ado let's jump in to the battlefield. Okay guys so here we go this is the battlefield of Kadesh and as I said to you earlier on this is the closest I could get it in terms of location to Kadesh itself. But as you can see here we already have got the terrain advantage against our uh, enemy here because we will be charging downhill towards them so let's hopefully utilize our chariots to great effect with that being the case. Now with both factions the chariots are the only form of cavalry that we've got all the other units are going to be infantry units so let's have a quick look at the actual units themselves because as I said to you a lot of details being put into them I believe with the models and the textures so we'll have a look at these now and see what they do look like. So we've got some nice work on the chariots there, nice textures, nice design work. And if we go over to this side, the Pharaoh's chariots, these are slightly different to the light chariots. As you can see they sort of set themselves aside with their sort of elegance in the form of their armour that they've got, the gold sort of ornate armour they've got there looking very nice indeed, shimmering in the sun. 
and let's have a quick look over the infantry here nice different colors with the shields there but I quite like this one here this Sherd and Guardsmen they look like quite unique units very nice ornate helmets there with their uh, different textures of clothing and there's wooden shields very good indeed and as I said a lot of variation in all these units today and that's what I try to do when I've selected them for the battlefield keep them quite varied so you can see a lot of the uh, units at the disposal of this mod so we can see here the Numidian guard units look at their sort of very different artwork on their shields and their clothing sort of leopard skin print there so Zulu-esque shields here nice very menacing looking unit there look at that guy in the background there look at the colors he's got in his work there very Egyptian like there I like that all the different colors in his very striking blue hat there very good so we'll go over here but further to the right hand side some more shock infantry some more guard unit there Numidian guard unit these guys are the Pharaoh's foot guard looking good looking very good these are Numidian bowmen so very much like in terms of the design that the spearmen have got but obviously these are going to be my missile infantry and there we go and we've got some more oh the some Pharaoh's foot guard here right then so we can't see the uh, Hittites yet but we'll have a look at them in just a second but before we do that let's deploy our units into some sort of uh, formation shall we so we'll put all the chariots on this right hand side so they're going to sort of swoop around on the right here and then hit them on that flank of theirs there so we'll use them all on that right flank to go and do that on that right side and then we've got the general unit here so bring him back put all the spears into the center so into group two so they will be the meat and the center of the the army there of the infantry and then we'll flank or we'll support both their flanks with some uh, Egyptian shock infantry there we go foot guard and the shirt and guardsmen can come back here so they're going to group three and then uh, those are in group four general's unit getting back there so he's nice and protected and then the two units of bowmen can go at the front so that's pretty much we are good to go now the enemy should if they know what's better for them um, stay there and defend because they know obviously we've got the advantage of the terrain against them so if you know what's good for them as I say they should stay there and let me attack but what we'll do is we'll cause them a bit of a headache now we'll attack with our infantry in the center frontal attack there but then we'll cause them the headache by bringing these chariots all the way round on the right here and then flank them from behind and they'll have to divide their army at that point and that's where they'll become a lot more weakened very quickly so let's bring the chariots in now see them in action as they move down shall ride with them look at those swords that they've got on the sides of the chariots there to scythe through the enemy nice very good indeed now the AI will react in a second they'll know that they can't stay in that line there their right flank will be isolated at that point or exploited what we'll do while we're waiting for the units of ours to get into formation we'll have a quick look at the enemy's uh, units here look at their design work so yeah, if you like the look of this mod and you want to try it out, as I said to you, it's only a preview build at the moment, with this being the only sort of feature of the mod at the moment. You can, as I say, still try it out. It is in the Steam Workshop. There's a link to it in the description of this video, so you can go and download it right now and play this battle for yourself if you so wish. So uh, yeah, give it a go. But it'd be really interesting when they start to adapt it more, develop it, and we can see more features coming in, more factions, and of course, hopefully at some point, an actual playable grand campaign, which would be awesome to uh, to do, hopefully. Right, anyway, we're getting there now. We are close to engagement. Let's bring the units forward now. Obviously, we'll get the missile bowmen to lead the attack. They will start firing in a second. 
They will have the range, obviously, with them being bows as opposed to uh, javelin men. Um, we'll put them on to quick reload as well. A lot of these units here, these light chariots, are going to have uh, missiles towards them so uh, they can hopefully use as a sort of skirmisher cavalry. And the general is quite close to that right flank, so we should start hopefully picking off at him in a second. So we've got one of your chariots, which is our fairest chariots, and the other ones are light chariots. Let's just pick away at these for a second. Let's engage now. We can always disengage them in a second, bring them out. Looks like their units are coming in for a little bit of a fire in a second. With their skirmishers now engaging, they are, yeah, so we're going to fire back. Meanwhile, the chariots are moving in. Come on, let's get some volleys off against these guardsmen. Got fire well engaged. Move in, move in. While they're sort of hurrying about trying to get into a decent formation, this is when we need to strike. While they're weak, while they're disorganised, we need to move in now. Pick off bit by bit at them. Move in, guys, move in. Okay, come on, move in now. Oh, here comes their chariots. In fact, we're going to go for a cavalry charge now, or just a charge. Let's do it. Bring them back out, pull them back out. Try and bait them into coming into our infantry line over here. That's it, draw them out, draw them out, draw them out, draw them out. Start engaging now. Oh, unit of skirmishers route in there. Put them, away, put them over this side, put them over this side. All oh, the chariots are still engaged on there. I think they, they don't think they can get out now. They're sort of stuck in the battlefield there. And all in, in the skirmish, I should say. So let's bring in our melee infantry to try and engage. Keep pushing, man. Keep pushing in that centre. This guy here, God, he means business, doesn't he? Look at that guy. Hench of the what? Oh, you need here wavering. Heavy axemen, God. Surprised they're going down so quickly. With those big axes they've got. You wouldn't want to face them in battle, would you? Volleys across from the missile units here. I think we need this unit of. Uh, in fact, we need to commit the general because this unit's coming under, under a lot of pressure here. It's already signed to uh, lose a bit of morale, so we can try and buff it up a bit with the general's presence. Rally them, hand, inspire them. That's it. General on general. Here we go. What we need to do with this unit of or these units of chariots if we can try and break one of two of them off. I think we can. Put away, put away. Just got to get behind the lines here to try and get at these uh, skirmishes that they've got. In fact, we'll charge in the rear, I think. Actually, I think that's what we'll do. We'll charge in the rear. And start to really push against the, uh, the rear of these sword unit here. And I think the general's already wavering, actually, from what I can see there. Here we go. Come on, let's give him a charge. Zooming for this one. Here we go. S smash them from the rear. Yes! That's it. Mow them down. Great stuff. That's shot them immediately into panic there. All four units are going into uh, routing there. Awesome. That's great to see. All these Nibidian spearmen holding their own there in the centre as well. So on the left-hand flank, in fact. 
These Egyptian shock infantry are going to go for a charge in the rear. There's panic across the field here. The Hittites are not doing too well. We seem to be having the upper advantage here. Or the <laughs> upper advantage, the upper hand. There we go. We either have the advantage or the upper hand. We don't have the upper advantage. What the hell am I coming out with tonight? Right, chariots get into position again. We'll go from the charge across the field now. To mop up the enemy. Panic on the left hand side as well. Chariots engage the general once more. Pushing against him, that's it. Sons of the Nile! Come on. Do your duty. For oh, Pharaoh today. For Ramesses. So come on, the back here. In fact, charge these, these warriors. Here we go. Get some momentum going here. The charge in a second. Here we go. Smash through them. Oh, look at that. Throwing them yards in front of them. Straight away, they're panicking again. We'll put them back into formation. We'll go for a charge again over here against these light spearmen. Hopefully, with them being engaged, you won't be able to uh, turn around to fight. They're already routing at the fact that we're coming at them. That should be the whole Hittite army on the retreat. Now it is victory. And we should continue just for a second just to see them fall to their deaths. Great stuff. So yeah, there we go. I think in terms of the historical battle, it was... The yeah, general's dead, wonderful. In terms of the historical battle itself, I think it was a little bit undecided. Few were claiming the Egyptians won. Few people said that the Hittites won. So it wasn't a very clear-cut victory. Hopefully, today it is a little bit more for the Egyptians. But there you go. So I shall wrap it up here, and uh, let's exit the battle now. See what the final result was. So a close victory, and we lost 1,018 men to their 2,079. So we did kill a lot more of the enemy than they did us so we did gain the victory in the end uh, but there you go ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed the video and the preview of this mod a lot more to come from it i'm sure but uh, if you enjoyed the video drop it a like and you never know when it gets developed a bit more when it gets new updates to it i may cover it at some point down the line in the near future but until next time this is warrior spotter for now saying farewell <laughs>